close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing. And stay with the sensation of breathing as long as you can. All the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. As for other thoughts that may come in the mind, just let them go. This is the time for the mind to be on its own. We've made merit this morning with generosity, but you want the merit to be complete. That involves virtue and meditation as well. The virtue is when we're not harming people, not harming other beings. As you're sitting here with our eyes closed, okay, our virtue is fine. And the next step is meditation that's developing the mind, developing good qualities inside the mind. Because the goodness outside comes from goodness inside. And it's the quality of the intention with which you do things. That makes all the difference. So you want to make sure you are clear on your intention. So you practice having one intention. You're going to stay here with the breath and see how long you can stay there. You find pretty quickly that it wanders off. Well, reestablish the intention. You want to show the mind that you mean business. And the mind is like a committee. It's got lots of different agendas, lots of different ideas, lots of different aims in mind. And you want to remind the mind that, okay, your true happiness is where you really want to go. Everybody in the committee should want to go there. And where does true happiness come from? It has to come from inside. Because if happiness depended on things outside, this would be a pretty miserable world. As the Buddha said, that even if it rained gold coins, we wouldn't have enough for our sensual desires. And that's just one person's sensual desires. And imagine how many showers of gold coins we would need to satisfy everybody. There's just not, not much going around in the world. There's limited resources outside, but we have unlimited resources inside. So we want to turn around and look at those. Notice what you can develop inside to have a sense of well-being that doesn't depend on things outside. And that way you have inner wealth. As for the things come and go outside, that's a normal part of life. Things come, they go. You want to get the best use out of them when they come. You want to use them in good ways so that that develops good qualities in the mind as well. Because the mind is what gathers up all the goodness in the world. It also gathers up all the bad things too. But it's all found inside here. So what you want to do is make sure that you expel the bad things and keep the good things. When you have something, you can ask yourself, is this for me to use or is it for me to give to somebody else? What's the best use of this thing? When you have that thought instead of just gobbling things down, that's the beginning of a larger frame of mind. That's why we practice generosity, is to think about what the needs of the world are and what those, which among those needs you can supply. And there's a sense of well-being that comes from that, a sense that you are wealthy enough to share. All of this comes back to the mind, the quality of the precepts. It comes back to the mind as well. We're abstaining from harming others, and other people, of course, benefit from that. But the mind is what really benefits. Because you have to be mindful to keep the precept in mind. You have to be alert to what you're doing. And you have to have compassion, realizing you're doing this for the good of yourself, for the good of others. You want a goodness that spreads goodness around. It doesn't just hold on to happiness for yourself. You want a happiness that has a good impact on other people, too. All of this comes back into the mind, the qualities of the mind that you develop. So it's here inside the mind that you really want to look. It's here you want to make sure that what you're gathering up as you go through the day is really worth gathering up. You don't want to be a vacuum cleaner that goes around just picking up the dirt, and you don't want to just pick up anything that comes your way. Take the good things in life, the good qualities you can build in mind. You do that through being generous, through observing the precepts, and through meditating. This provides you with a happiness that erases the boundaries between you and other people, because it doesn't inflict any hardship on anyone else. Other people benefit too. It's rare that we can find a happiness like that in life. So many of our pleasures are the kinds of things where we get something and somebody else has to lose it. But with this, we gain this pleasure, other people gain pleasure too. So the pleasure of merit is not something to look down on. It's something that's very important in life. It's what keeps society going and it keeps the quality of our hearts going. So make sure that you invest in this, and particularly invest in the quality of the heart, because that's where all the other goodness comes from. <laughs>